About time, man. Where the hell were you? Okay, I'm here now, okay? I had to walk all the way. There were no buses anywhere. Bullshit. Honestly, okay. pull this crap one more time. I swear to God. Okay, I am telling you, there were no buses. Okay, I waited for a half hour. Okay, there's some weird shit going on downtown. There were sirens, there were police cars, and this weird smell everywhere. I wanted to go home, I wanted to go home and get a mask, but then I would have been even more late. Wow, what a story. Throwing a few aliens, some zombies. Look, man, I understand you got shit going on. Do you know how hard it was for me to get these tickets? This movie is premiering for the first time ever. Our review of this, we put into the final release. It's by Sasha Lukacs, yeah. He's known for doing these wild, experimental motion pictures. It's VIP shit. Don't make me regret inviting you, man. Okay, I appreciate the invite, seriously. The only reason I was late was because of the shit going on downtown. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry, I couldn't help overhearing you. What's going on downtown? We have a dinner party to go to after this. Please, pay no attention. This is Do you see what you're doing to people? Okay, I am not doing anything. Okay, there's just some weird stuff going on downtown. I, okay, I, I will show you my phone is there. Oh, of course it is. <clears throat> I don't think we are supposed to be on our phones during the film anyways, unless we are on the reviewing system. Wow. Thanks, Sherlock. Anyways, you were saying... Okay, anyways, uh, okay, uh, the buses were running, people were getting pissed, and then all these sirens started going off and people thought something weird was going on downtown. I, I don't know, it could have been a fire, a, a bomb, I, I don't know. It was really weird, yeah, everything felt really hot. Oh, for f a bomb now? No, 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 let me, let me tell you what it was. It was alien zombies riding on giant flying cockroaches, farting out the storm. You see, he had it all recorded on his phone, no, but the team of Secret Service IT people in the basement hacked in and pried his device from the inside. So, we'll never know. Huge conspiracy to undermine my foreign friend here. All this because we're too lazy to leave home on time. Okay, if you're trying to get me to act more normal, more normal. I'm a lost cause, okay? I suffer from all kinds of shit. I don't see myself getting better anytime oh soon. Oh my god, we get it. You're depressed, you have ADHD, OCD, Not anxiety. OCD. This generation is too soft. You want my advice? You're just nuts and wallowing in your own misery. Honestly, get over yourself. Stop drinking in the morning and take a shower. Stop drinking stuff. What's you? Uh, um, I know. Yeah, it's very difficult to handle such a friend. Um, back, back in Queensland, in Australia, such friends, we dig a grave for one meter and buy them a life so that they kind of come and pick them up. They are just worthless people in the society. But I would say, as for now, could you keep it low, please? The move is about to begin. Oh, oh yeah, oh, here I am, I'm my sick best buddy in the whole world, and you just give me shit when the movie hasn't even started? Well, I came here to watch an exclusive viewing and give my review of the experience. Next time, invite your friend to a hospital. Oh, and who are you? <laughs> a psychiatrist? <laughs> That's the good lad. Oh, I know it. Here we go. What a team. The religious nutcase, the wannabe healer, and the trunk. <laughs> so, um, this person didn't use it in a religious context. In fact, strictly religiously speaking, taking the Lord's name in vain would mean that they are not religious at all. So, they in fact could have offended any truly religious people here, and you, on the other hand, could have potentially offended them. <clears throat> so, the question remains, how do we make this right? When one person offends, offending them in return does not solve the problem, but instead, strictly mathematically speaking, creates this geometric progression of offense, a cascading offense, which I write about in my academic essay. A cascading offense. Who knew? Indeed. <laughs> Very well put. You should be taking notes. Well, I'll give you a note you won't mind. Okay, just talk. let it go. <laughs>
Is, for instance, you throw them in a tiger's cage. What? No. Where'd the tiger's cage come from? Are you two completely insane? No, 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 no. <laughs> hold on. I, I want to get into this. Uh, what, what kind of peril are you talking about? Stop <laughs> drinking! <laughs> As I was saying, so you have these two cats who are similarly abled, and, and you throw them in a tiger's cage. Indulge me, please. A tiger's cage is an excellent peril. I want to put them in a burning barn or a sinking ship. It would even the field significantly. Hmm. And maybe the tiger can be blind. Hmm. A blind tiger. Very interesting. That could work. That could work. Okay, so we put the cats into the tiger's cage from two different ends of the cage. That is absolutely disgusting. I have two very sweet kittens, and do they have all their legs? Of course they do. I'm not running a torture camp for cats. <laughs> well, good for you, but theoretically, they don't apply to this situation. <clears throat> Getting back to the parents. Do they have to be cats? What? You know, um, two of you are getting into my nerves. <laughs> my woman here finds it very disturbing that you keep throwing these several cats into a tiger's cage. Two of you. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are just examining a hypothesis, and only one cat is truly disabled, the other is pretending. That's the whole point. Well, if someone put the cat's front legs into a bag, it's certainly not pretending. It is suffering. Probably even worse than the disabled one. Okay, um, could you use another animal? Uh, like a rat, perhaps, right? Everyone hates rodents. Unless they're white mice. They are very cute with their pink paws and blue eyes. <laughs> Could you find it in your hearts to throw those innocent creatures into the tiger's cage either? You do a very cute mouse. Thank you. <laughs> Instead of cats, can we throw some awful person into the tiger's cage? You dead? Now you're talking. What the hell's going on here? I'm not even any tiger cages. What are you talking about? Well, before we were so brutally interrupted, my cookie bear in here and I were simply hypothesizing that this whole cinema thing may just be an experiment and that some of us, <clears throat> not naming any names, may know this to be true and others may not. Some of you assholes know what's going on here. Come on, tell us. What's going on? Did you know? Do you? Gene is a very my girlfriend here was simply hypothesizing that it may be an experiment. Stop saying. Hypothesizing. <laughs> what the hell's going on over here? I swear to God. <laughs>
She's having a moment. Come on, come on, repeat after me. Get it, get it, go! Get it, 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 get as a professional and certified bird watcher who lives in Jambol for almost 2,000 years in Australia and New Zealand, I would say it's pretty close to what she said. It is pretty close. Nobody is about me, not forgetting that I'm the only educated bird watcher in the world. Yes? Just a bit more guttural. Woodpecker's voices are more like. Especially when in danger. Yeah, what kinds of danger? Well, suddenly, if they find themselves in some liquid. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, uh, sweetie. Uh, remember the one in Western Australia, right? In West Queensland. We even chased it for days. The woodpecker. We chased it for days and got lost in West Queensland. But then, those nice preps men in the Queensland saved us. Me? Yes. Nice is stretching it a bit, don't you think? You were asleep for three days. Nothing will be remember. <laughs> Woman, listen. <laughs> don't embarrass your husband in public. Don't say it. Huh? Okay, well, in, in, in the end, they were very nice people, by the way. Very nice people. Sad is to say that they did let us go. They did let us go pretty late. You, all of you, you can see it all. If you only follow us on Instagram, mm -hmm. and or not, yes, <laughs> French. <laughs> so, so it would sound something like this. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> exactly. Just like that. That's how we do that. No. Oh, okay. Come. More flustered. Okay. Pickers are always flustered for some reason. <laughs> oh, hallelujah! My old memories in Australia. Honey, I'm getting a flight tomorrow to Australia. To wait for us. Right. Yes, you. You're auditioning. Aren't you? She's using the fact that this blue clutch lunatic, he wants us in here for some insane social experiment to audition for him. Figure it out. Serves you right, you suckers. Look at her. Ha! Okay, no. Okay. Look at her. She just following her instincts and answering the call of this. Uh, this. Okay, I don't really know what this is. But, <laughs> but she's being true, true to herself, and channeling this amazing, beautiful energy. She ate and left no crumbs. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think I see an aura around her. Freedom from a suffocating father. <laughs> go. Go. I'll hold your father. Stop, you devil! The power of Christ can hold you! Enough of this performance art. You tell us what what's going on here. Huh? What? You are not my father. I ain't the good boy for that. <laughs> <laughs> Who is the religious nutcase now? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Who the hell are you? What's going on here? Okay, first, I am Daisy. I am an actress. Hey, <laughs> Jean, a victim of your performance. <laughs> <laughs> so you actually saw this was all performance? Hmm. You're very intuitive. I am the least. Then you must be a psychiatrist. Or, wait. Are you a famous director? <laughs> oh my god, oh my god! You're Sasha Lukacs in disguise! <laughs> you came to get in touch with your audience. You Let me put you guys. <laughs> did I ruin your research with my performance? Where did it become obvious? I think the cat to cat I was giving away, but never mind. Let's not get into that right now. Was it a bit over the top? I can't tell when the inspiration hits me. I just go for it. No cap on God, right? <laughs> yes. What the fuck was that? I do that all the time. I have known you since first grade, and I have never heard you use that. Before. <laughs> never mind, Daisy. Please, you just. 
tell us what's going on here. Okay, okay. I'll pretend for a second this is not one of your movies. <laughs> so uh, I really don't know much. I have a friend who works in this venue, and she told me that there would be some testing done during the viewing, and audience members would be observed for their reactions. And she did say that there would be some out of the ordinary type things, but did not mention the rhinoceros or anything else. I just followed my agent's advice to get as much exposure as possible. Okay. Now it makes sense. Doesn't explain the whole father abandonment or anything you were doing since the film started. But you had my friend under some kind of spell. Oh, uh, I, I was just reacting to what I saw. I'm sure Daisy felt all of it. Oh, Daisy, you, uh, you are a natural. Wow. Slay queen. Daisy, <laughs> <laughs> but how would you know? You were, no, you are Jerron! You see, that is exactly the point I was making with Sophocles. Who the hell is Sophocles? Oh my goodness, weren't you listening? Sophocles is the cat who has front paws tied to the back, and Socrates is the cat who lost his front legs in the car accident, obviously. Excuse me, I thought those cats were not real. That is neither here nor there. I am trying to make a point here. If we say that Daisy is like Sophocles, and your friend here like Socrates, and we are in some sort of peril, you're following this far? <laughs> and in case, the experiment fails because Daisy is performing a response to a crisis, sending false signals to Socrates, in this case your friend Berenger, whose reactions are not to the crisis, but to her wrong readings of her surroundings. <clears throat> I think what my pookie bear here is trying to articulate is that Falsities multiply with every exchange, and there is no truthful response to anything. I, on the other hand, would argue that any reaction to any trigger is truthful in the moment of reception, while I allow that it does get corrupted in the long run. Now, the big question is, how do we discern the two and record them? No, the big question is how do we get you two to shut up? <laughs> oh, say no more. There goes all the intellect in the room. <laughs> yes, our lips are sealed. The bigger question is how do we get the hell out of here? Okay, why do we have to get the hell out of here? I would much rather stay and watch Daisy's performance, if Daisy doesn't mind. Well, I don't know how the others feel about it. Yeah. I <laughs> could throw together a little something. Please, God, no. Well? No, 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 we would all be honored, right? I'm sure everyone agrees. A bag of props? To a theater? Don't we all carry around our bag of tricks? Yeah. As a director, don't you carry around your little notebook in which you diligently scribble your profound observations on extraordinary human behavior? I am not a director! But however, I'm sure, that little notebook is full of many notes on your extraordinary behavior. Thanks! I will take that as a compliment. Did <laughs> <laughs> you grab that other one? Oh, please. Throughout the whole theater, people, you might as well enjoy the show. Oh, I like this. Else, my love? Yes. 
Ja, aber das war ein bisschen. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Okay, aber das ist mein Schuld. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Mine are mooty, mooty, mooty. 
Dinah Mooty Mooty Mooty. Nine, nine, mine a Mooty. Come on, Daisy. How dare you? Oh, yeah? Yeah. 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 Oh. <laughs> <laughs>
have observed that the animals have the look in their eyes, like they know who we are as humans. <laughs> like a conscious look at us? That's what he just said, yes. No, they just want to eat us, obviously. It goes beyond eating, they profoundly hate us. How do you think the cats felt about being thrown into a tiger's cage? We were just examining a hypothesis with slide cats who were disabled. And where does one find disabled cats in the first place? The flying tiger for that matter. Wait, what were you guys doing? They were throwing disabled cats. Disabled legless <laughs> cats into a blind tiger's cage. No wonder the hippos are hurting us now. <laughs> in our defense, only one cat was truly disabled. Front paws gone, while the other cat's legs were bound in a canvas bag. Exactly. <laughs> it is rhinos that are hurting us. Nobody said anything about hippos. Now tell us what happened to the cats. Nothing. It was just an experiment. And not a very successful one at that. Okay, what happened? Indeed. What was so unsuccessful about it? Ugh, fine. They both died. Are you happy now? <clears throat> and the tiger, being blind, choked on the back of the performer cats as well. Yes, it also died. So, was it divine providence? You tell me. But nothing was concluded. It is in science what we like to call a throwaway experiment. This happens all of the time. That it does. It's just too bad the zoo confiscated the video in exchange for our freedom, but it's all in the past. Monsters. Monsters. I knew it. They were real cuts. Oh, look who's talking. The woodpecker ritualist. What happened to the woodpecker in Australia? Woman, you are pressing a wrong button. <laughs> you are just a miserable, I, I don't even know what to say, miserable human being who is uncultured or cultureless. That was part of ancient ritual. We, my wife and I, had to observe what you call the tradition. You are a traditional person. Honey? Yes. Shut the fuck up. No. <laughs> there was no tradition. There was no ritual. Those two guys live in New York City. They tricked us and you fell for it. Look, I don't care. I don't care what they did. It's absolutely their shame. That was not part of this, my activity. I I walk in into the ritual, put on my bat's costume, <laughs> jump into a pool of water, then walk in innocently with my wife as two innocent babies. Babies. Innocent? Well, that must have made the poor woodpecker feel much better getting into the soup. I drown in this hot soup surrounded by floating carrots and onions so happily because it's all part of a ritual. There's only a room for one. Daisy, I'm sure you can make a whole new performance piece out of that. Oh, 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 oh. Daisy, Daisy, Daisy. Okay, well, I am sure. I am sure that the improv, the improv, the dance of the dead cat was more enticing to my talents. How did it go? No, no, no. Hey, you leave Daisy out of her grotesque crimes, okay? Look at her. She works in a wonderful world of her imagination. <laughs> yes, but sometimes an artist has to borrow from real life. Don't get me wrong, I hate what they did. But just think of the possibilities for a show. Cats, flying <laughs> tigers, slow-boiled woodpecker. <laughs> okay, maybe that's more for the cooking show, but still, I would kill to have a YouTube channel for exotic specialties. <laughs> hey, Slim Shady, yeah. can you please get that stupid puppet off, please? Oh, yeah, well, yes, I'm sure. Yeah, 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 yeah,
Don't shoot the genius of cinema! Let him live! No! Don't shoot her! I'm a sad drug, I don't deserve to live! Kill me! What? <laughs> Oh my god, you're right, that, that really did 
mean at least the eyes. Okay, does she still have her GPS on her? We have to go. Guys, who's with us? Guys, we have to fight them! In the name of humanity! Humanity! Humanity, queen, humanity. Guys. Human oh, oh, honey, sweetie, I think let's go. Maybe it's time for us to do the revenge on all those creatures that wronged us. You remember I almost lost my leg? We're going to lose your husband. <laughs> no. Let's go, honey. Guys, let's go. Yes? The creatures mm -hmm. in the jungle mm -hmm. that wronged us. Mm -hmm. The creep. Mm -hmm. Help me out. Yeah. <laughs> let's not look pop any doors. Quick. Are these real shit? Water. That's the water. Yeah. Well, to help with feet, or maybe we can scare them. Rhinos can't tell the difference. Let's yeah. go, guys. Come on. All right. <laughs>
No, okay. love can do that to you. Let's let's spend eternity together. We have all the time in the world, at least the human world. <laughs> you know, you used to be a jolly neurotic drunk, but now I sense some pathos coming through. Some lament. <clears throat> yes, and it is frankly bordering on boring. Bordering. <laughs> we are way beyond that. He would have to put on an elephant costume and have Daisy whip him to sleep. Sure, if that's what takes a jump in elephant costume here, Daisy, I want you to make me. Okay, for me. Is there anything in you? Jonathan Whip or elephant costume. But I do have this. What the fuck is that? What is that? Well, now this is just getting weird. On that note, I think our time here is done. Yes, thank you all for the afternoon. And <clears throat> slip, mm -hmm. just a piece of advice. Maybe less booze. <clears throat> Try to take the world in sober. <laughs> all right. Bye, you all. Thank you, so Cooks. Oh, 
Washington have taken a violent and tumultuous turn in the past few hours. As thousands of supporters stormed, venting their anger, they forced the evacuation and lockdown of Congress itself. The worst day in more than four years.